Imagine this, you're 50 years old, living in the beautiful country of Japan, but struggling with some new body issues. I've brought my friends along today and we're heading to the onsen. So we're going to take a road trip to the beautiful Shirahama in Wakayama. Join me today as I strip down completely and bear it all, literally and emotionally. I wanted to talk about how embracing this Japanese tradition is really helping me to overcome some of my insecurities and find self-acceptance in a way that I didn't think was possible. Whether you're dealing with body image issues yourself or just curious about the onsen culture, stick around. I promise this journey is about much more than just getting naked. It's about finding peace, confidence and self-love at any age. We have been planning this girls weekend for quite a while now, but unfortunately the weather is not so great for our first day. So we've tried to think of activities that we can do inside. I really hope that tomorrow's weather finds up because I'd love it if my friend could see how gorgeous the beaches are here. Of course, I can't help thinking that I'm a little bit nervous about the hotel that we're staying at mostly because it does have an onsen and I don't mind going to onsens but it's particularly been playing on my mind this time um, because I'm a little bit bigger than what I usually am and that's ever since I sort of turned 45 I guess my weight has been increasing slowly each year and I heard that was due to hormonal imbalances that come around this age so today getting naked in front of my old friend and my new friend is something that I did think about and wondered how I would cope with that today. But I'm not going to let those thoughts distract me too much because I'm here to have a good time and I just want to enjoy some great company with some good friends. I'll never forget the first time I walked into an onsen. I was totally a bundle of nerves. I kept thinking about all my flaws and how other people might be looking at me and judging me. But interestingly, something amazing happened. As I derobed and stepped into the warm waters of the bath, I realized that actually no one was paying attention to me. People were simply just enjoying their own moments of relaxation. This realization has been really liberating to me and I began to understand when I was younger that those insecurities were mine and mine alone and they weren't going to define me. The onsen experience in the past had been like shedding layers of self-doubt along with shedding clothes. This time round, I'm hoping that the onsen will help me embrace my body as it is at the moment. When I hopped in the water with my friends, it felt like a comforting hug. The natural surroundings also helped me connect with myself and really realize that it was all okay. Everyone has their own flaws and they have their own issues. So I just have to accept where I am with my body at the moment. And although I want to change my body, I think the first step to change is to accept how it is now. If you're watching this and struggling with your own body image issues, I want you to know that you're not alone. It's okay to feel vulnerable and it's okay to take steps towards self-acceptance at your own pace. For me, this trip to the onsen with my girlfriends has been an important part of that journey and I hope that you can also find something that inspires you to find your own self-love. Luckily for us, the weather has fined up, so our first stop this morning is the Sundam Beki Cliffs in Shirahama. The cliffs are also near a large tiered plateau formation of basalt, and it's been worn smooth by the sea. There are so many spots along the cliff that offer beautiful greenery and some boardwalks where you can admire the ocean. Of course, I found a cat and the cat was a bit of a star. Everyone was wanting to take its photograph. Near where we were standing, I did notice a telephone booth with a sign that said Inochi no Denwa. Inochi no Denwa means telephone counseling service. I felt 
touched that there were messages of hope inside the telephone booth. And there was a jar where people had put 10 yen coins in so that if people were in need to talk to someone, they could make a phone call and not have to worry if they had money or not. I don't think it's any coincidence that the phone has been placed here at the cliffs. This very simple act of kindness was really touching to me. I read on a forum that interestingly the Pokemon Go game came out and actually saved a lot of people. The game increased traffic and the number of people who were out at landmark spots um, and just having those people around with someone to talk to has really actually been a saviour for a lot of people. My gosh, tourists behaving badly are everywhere. I'd wish they'd read the signs and watch out for their safety. But enough of that, we're headed out to the beach now. It's still a lovely day and we've only got a five minute drive till we hit the white sand. Shirahama is such a gorgeous beach in Wakayama and believe it or not, the sand actually comes from Western Australia. That's just a little bit of trivia that surprised me. There's plenty of parking near the beach, so we've parked up and we're gonna enjoy a couple of hours here. Wow. Wow. Huh? <laughs> this, this beach, same uh, Hawaii. Hawaii, yeah, it's like Hawaii, yeah. Honolulu Beach. Honolulu. Yeah. It was cool to be greeted by a local as soon as we arrived, and in English at that. But I must say, sitting here today, I'm really fortunate to have met some incredible friends. They encourage me all the time and reassure me that everyone has their own insecurities. And to be honest, I know that true friends will accept you as you are. My friend's presence today has made a huge difference. Instead of focusing on my insecurities, I just find myself enjoying their company and enjoying the experience together. Their continued acceptance of me helps me see myself through kinder eyes. It really makes me think that having such a supportive community helps transform your self-perception. I'm wondering, do you have a supportive friend or community? Are you able to share your feelings and lean on your friends for support? Let me know in the comments how things are going for you. So we're headed back home to Wakayama now and we've decided to take the coast road all the way home and make a couple of stops along the way. I think we can safely say that a weekend just isn't long enough and we wish we could drag it out another day or two. If you are ever coming to Wakayama, make sure you get a car and drive the coast road. There is so much to see and do on this trip. This time round, we've only scratched the surface, but we know there's a lot more of exploring to do. This weekend, my guilty pleasure has been drinking coffee and having a few alcoholic drinks. Unfortunately for me, this has ended in disaster. That might have been a bit dramatic, but I am suffering from rosacea and I've needed to go straight away to the dermatologist to fix this problem. I just want to let you know in Japan, dermatologists, you don't need an appointment. You just line up outside. I was seen within the hour and received some scripts for medication for antibiotics as I developed a skin infection on top of my rosacea. This kind of appointment in Australia would have cost me way over $100 but today's bill was 1,080 yen. Conveniently the pharmacy was right next door. And the bill for that script was also very cheap, 1,280 yen. Hi. 
抗菌薬のね菌殺す塗り薬になりますんで、はい、こちらもね1日2回ね回朝とお風呂上がりにねおでこのところに塗ってくださいわかりました if you found this video helpful or inspiring in any way please give it a thumbs up and share it with those who might benefit Don't forget to subscribe for more adventures of my life in Japan as a 50 year old. And remember that embracing who you are is the greatest gift that you can give yourself. Thank you for all your support of the channel.